The death toll is growing as more migrants found in the back of a truck yesterday have died, and several others, including children, are in the hospital. The scene in southwest San Antonio is still active after the discovery at about 6 o'clock last night. Our Ken Molestina joins us live from there with what he's learned in the last few minutes. Ken. Well, you know, Karen, uh, the Department of Homeland uh, Security's uh, HSI, Homeland Security Investigation, is now the lead agency looking into all of this. Uh, we got late word last night that this is, in fact, now a federal investigation that we're talking about here. Uh, this morning, we can confirm to you that the death toll has now rise to 50 uh, very grim details that are now coming out uh, from out here in San Antonio. Uh, but again, yesterday, uh, the death toll was sitting at 46. Now uh, it's gone up a little bit more to 50. Uh, overnight, again, death toll at 46. Uh, the last couple of hours is when it uh, climbed up to 50. We know that more than a dozen uh, were also found alive, including some children. They were rushed to nearby hospitals. The increased death toll is now a result of some of those mi migrants who died while at the hospital. Officials say they were suffering from extreme dehydration. Uh, some folks had heat strokes and, of course, exposure to the brutally hot elements without any kind of ventilation or water. The police chief last night saying the bodies were found stacked on top of one another. This morning, search crews have spent uh, the last couple of hours out here using canines to search the nearby brush area just in case uh, they come across any more bodies. San Antonio's mayor recently speaking about this gruesome discovery and said while the details are heartbreaking, unfortunately, cases like these are not uncommon around this part of town. This area has been known to see uh, a lot of truck trafficking and smuggling cases over the years. Uh, San Antonio is a gateway to the Americas. And so uh, from time to time, we have seen these uh, incidents. Uh, our response, obviously, is, is a compassionate one. Uh, so, again, uh, still a bit of a, a scene uh, over my shoulder out here. Uh, I can tell you, again, from speaking to an official with HSI, they're not ready to confirm what countries these migrants came from or where they were headed. However, other organizations that are involved in this investigation and in this response are saying that this was a mixture, Karen, of uh, migrants from different Central American countries, namely Mexico, uh, Honduras, and also some uh, Guatemalans uh, that were uh, inside of that truck. But again, HSI is not confirming that. That information coming from other agencies, other organizations that are also uh, responding to this, uh, this crisis out here in San Antonio. Police officials say three people, Karen, have now been arrested as a result of this. Uh, not exactly what role they, not sure what role they played in it, but again, three people in custody. Yeah, so much Karen. more to learn from this, Ken. And as you have been out there this morning, you mentioned seeing additional search efforts going on in the woods and fields. What can you tell us about that? So uh, we have an understanding right now that uh, what is mostly taking place behind over my shoulder is uh, sort of a search effort uh, where crews are using canine units. We've seen two different crews come onto the scene with canines, and what they're doing is they're searching the brush areas uh, off to the sides of this very narrow road uh, just in case they come across any other bodies that might be in the brush areas. Of course, uh, some folks were able to get out of that truck. Uh, we understand that the truck was left abandoned out here, uh, and it was discovered by an employee of a nearby truck yard who heard some faint uh, screaming. Uh, so there is a thought, uh, at the very least, that perhaps they need to check the brush just in case uh, they come across any other bodies. So that's been happening now uh, for the past couple of hours, and we anticipate, Karen, that that will continue uh, for the next couple of hours until they're given the all clear. Simply heartbreaking. And we know you're going to continue to work this story for us throughout the afternoon, and we'll be speaking with you in our early newscast this afternoon. Thanks so much, Ken.